It's Louise with Louise McKay Art, and I'm doing something very impromptu today um, in light of the, the news that you can't help but see on TV and um, how awful I feel for the poor Ukrainians who are basically having their country terrorized, in my opinion. So I want to do a little tribute to them, and so basically... I'm going to make a flag and I'm going to swipe it in commemoration for their country and to hopefully give good, good karma, good faith, good vibes for them. I can't even imagine what they must be going through. Uh, so let me get started here. So I got my blue and the gold or the yellow. That is part of their country's flag. And then I've got my swipe colors, which is 24 karat deco art, Golden's iridescent gold, Golden's iridescent pearl, and uh, a new a new color I haven't even tried yet is iron oxide. And I don't know what made me want to pull this one out and open it up. I think just maybe the idea of uh, iron being strong, solid, stalwart. So we'll see how this plays with the other colors. So one side will be yellow and the other side will be um, blue. And I think my swipe over color will be the, uh, the pearl. So let me start with the pearl. So I'm gonna pick up the pace here in the interest of time because something happens later on, I have to redo something. So uh, just wanted to pick up the pace here and, and talk through this. That was the pearl I just laid down. And um, my idea here is to have the blue swipe in one direction and the yellow swipe in the other. So the next color I'm laying down here is on one of the sides of the pearl, the, uh, the blue that I made. And I'll list in the description the exact ingredients in, in that color. And then on the other side is the yellow, which is I think it was Artist's Loft Brilliant Yellow. And this is 24 karat gold that I'm gonna lay on both sides. So all the other colors will share on both sides. It's just the blue and the yellow that will be separate. So just a little more about my motivation for doing this is that I think I mentioned at some point in some video somewhere that, you know, I was in the military I uh, graduated from West Point in 1984 and um, was stationed in Germany from 85 to 89. And while I never saw war, while I lived in Germany, I lived in Mannheim, it was always a worry about the threat of the Soviet Union uh, coming across the borders. And uh, we had terrorist threats and alerts and various things. And so having lived over there and knowing how close really Germany is to Ukraine, it's it's not that big over there. It's so small. I mean, it's really scary what's going on. So I just feel so bad for those people over there, um, you know, living their lives. The lady that's probably having a baby the people in the hospital, the person needing cancer treatment and so forth and so on. It's just so sad. And then the family's having to be broken up. But I have all the respect in the world for this group over there. Nobody's complained. People are supporting the country and I just have the utmost respect for them and wish the best. So what I'm doing in this last minute here, I just uh, swiped in the blue obviously. I'm just spraying water down on the paper towel, and that's a bounty paper towel. And you, you put the water on it so that it'll it'll have a little weight as you lay it down on top of the paint. And I, and I don't know this for a fact, but I do believe that the water, the moisture, will have some impact on uh, what goes on with the paints and how they interact with each other. So with this one, I'm just laying out the uh, the yellow.
happy with the yellow side. Now the funny thing is the oxide on the blue side was fine, but on the yellow it just didn't work. So I spend about a couple minutes just staring at this. I'm going to skip through that and then go to the next step. Yep, you guessed it. I decided to scrape the side I don't like and go ahead and lay down the paint again minus the iron oxide. So ready for a fresh start. I go ahead and lay down everything except for the iron oxide. So I've got my brilliant yellow here. And I decide I'm just going to throw it around throughout that whole side instead of just have it swipe from the top or the middle. Then the gold, 24 karat. And then the uh, golden's gold. Oh, and then I decided I'm going to throw a little of the 24 karat gold throughout as well, just like I did with the brilliant yellow. And then that's the pearl. I was actually surprised how easy it was to scrape out the stuff I didn't want. The rest of it, the blue side, stayed intact pretty nicely. Right away, I was much happier with the result. It was a nice, clean yellow. And what I end up doing on this is just using uh, the paper towels for swiping. So there we are. I think this is a much big improvement from the first version. So I just want to say thanks for stopping by for this impromptu swipe in commemoration of Ukraine. And everybody stay safe. Take care.